Hey guys, what's going on? This is Plex. Uh, what I got here is a assault pack, uh, manufactured, uh, designed by Arcteryx, uh, manufactured by Proper International for uh, the United States Marine Corps. Um, right here, there's a little Eagle Globe and Anchor with the USMC to let you know that uh, it's legit, you know, a standard issue. Um, and it also came with a uh, water bladder, brand new. Got this at a Army Navy store in Austin for fifty dollars, and it was in really great condition. Uh, on the top of the strap, it had some guy's name. I blacked it out, and I just put my name in there. But the pack itself is really good quality. It's got Molly on the front, um, but the thing about the Molly is you can only use uh, the first four spaces, and uh, you can't put anything on the fifth one. I don't know. It's just the way that it was sewn on the side so you could use all this side just not these uh... not the fifth row of molly um, but yeah also on the sides you got molly on both sides so you could put uh... canteens or little pouches or whatever um, it's got a front compartment so you could put little things in there and then you got the main compartment uh, got some good heavy duty zippers. Uh, you got little holes in the front here so you can drop stuff into the uh, front pouch. Um, you got side stow straps so you can uh, tie your gear down or you know put a you know pad or something on the side, stow it. Um, now the front of the backpack's got a sternum strap that's uh, adjustable. You can push these up or down if you want to and uh... you also have a waist pa uh... waist strap secure your gear down pretty good and yeah i mean you can take this uh... you know three day backpacking trip or something it's uh... it's really yeah, good. just an example of uh... the molly see what you could strap on here i got some uh... specialty defense systems uh... CQB ma uh, mag pouches. I uh, hold my my 20 round in there, but uh, yeah, like you can put stuff on the front using the uh, side molly, for example. Put it on there. Um, really on the sides. The only thing that you could really put on there is probably like uh, small pouches, uh, maybe like an IFAC pouch or. Uh, as you can see, just extra mag pouches, um, canteen pouches, maybe, uh, maybe like a saw 100 round uh, pouch slash you know sustainment or uh, utility pouch. Um, for the front, uh, you put the IFAC also, or uh, maybe some uh, extra water canteens on there, or uh, anything else really. But like I said, you can only use these. Uh, four spaces because you're not going to get anything on the fifth one. Now uh, here's the assault pack with the uh, water bladder in there. Like I said, uh, tube comes out in the small little opening right here and uh, you got these elastic bands that you can uh, stow the strap with and I always like to put it across the chest like that. I think it's uh, you know close to your mouth, you know better to hydrate. Um, some people just uh, just let it hang and I don't know. I just think that that would uh, dirty up the little mouthpiece more than uh, more than necessary. So you know, I per I prefer to stow it on the side. No big deal. Now that I got everything out of this bag, we just take a look uh, at the stuff inside the compartments and stuff. There's going to be the front compartment. It'll hold. It'll hold a uh, a good bit. Not not a lot. Um, maybe for like paperwork, uh, maybe an MRE or something like that. Um, it's not really intended to hold a lot other than the main pack. The main pack's going to hold a lot more. And we got the tag right here. It's going to, it's going to say, uh, assault pack, 100% nylon. Designed by Arcteryx, manufactured by Proper International Incorporated. And another side note, uh, 
the back part has a little zipper. Try to get that open. And this is going to contain the uh, the frame of the bag. Yeah, I had to had to do two hand on that one, but uh, this is going to be the frame of uh, the backpack. It's some, you know, it's some heavy duty plastic, but it's still bendable, so it can uh, form to your back. But yeah, now the backpack's going to be real flimsy. You can do whatever you want to it. Um, I don't think, even though the zipper's there, I don't think the uh, frame's really intended to be pulled out because it's a bitch to put it back in. So I'll have to do that too. So there you have it. Uh, that's just basically the rundown of my uh, pack. But uh, in the long run. It's really good for, uh, you know, three-day trips or something like that, or uh, operations. Um, I'm glad that I got it for $50, because uh, you could expect to find this for like 150 or more if you find it online. I'd rather not dish out a bunch of money to get the large ILBE pack, the huge one that Arc'teryx makes, but uh, this is a good one to do, you know, a run around, uh, like if you're doing some... Uh, shooting, you know, or like a whole day kind of thing. This would be a good pack to take with you. It's good, uh, good, durable, uh, padding's nice on it, and it's very, very comfortable. It's a good deal. Alright, thanks guys.